friends welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat India in this video I want to show my lens tilt technique here it is this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus now viscoelastic substance 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber here it goes and then it is spread over the corneal epithelium for a better visibility and for protection of the corneal epithelium now two side ports one on the right side another one on the left side are made and now capsular axis is to be done a 26 gauge bent needle is introduced through the right side port here it is the anti-capsule is incised and a nice flap is raised now I take a uterata forceps lift the anterior lip of the main incision hold the flap go anticlockwise remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the pupil and thus a round rexis is made now hydro dissection the size of the rexis is about 5.75 millimeter in this case because the cataract is soft and my aim is to tilt the nucleus so that a portion of the nucleus comes in the supracapsular area hydrodissection is being done the nucleus is tapped the nucleus has not yet nicely prolapsed so I do some more hydro and here it is the nucleus has tilted very nicely now viscoelastic substance is injected both in front and if possible on the other side and now the teeth of the phaco handpiece is introduced the bevel of the teeth faces the nuclear mass the machine being used is Oatly Catarix 3 here it is the lens is nicely tilted and the power is applied and the supracapsular portion is made free and it is emulsified now the nucleus is divided like this and another portion is removed now this portion one equator is resting on the posterior capsule and it is actually protecting the posterior capsule so there is no chance of PC rent that's it the nucleus is managed and I am always at a distance from the corneal epithelium so there is no endothelial cell loss Pisco is injected by the time my assistant gets ready with bimanual irrigation aspiration probes I use these Simco cannula and remove some portion of the cortex and now the bimanual is ready so I take the bimanual irrigation is through the right side port and aspiration through the left and now I start removing the cortex 
In this case, I didn't use the SIM code through the side ports because the side ports were smaller and it will not be possible to introduce SIM code through these side ports. That's it. Cortex has been removed. Now I am in IA2 mode where the vacuum is very less, about 20 millimeter of mercury. Flow rate is also 20 ml per minute. And I did some polishing with the IA2 mode, also called capsule polish mode. Now this is hydro polish, just using the irrigating probe for polishing the posterior capsule. So the posterior capsule is quite clean now. Now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is again injected and the entire chamber and capsular bag is filled up with the viscoelastic substance. And now here goes a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens. This is from Appa Sami Associates. This is a beautiful lens. No financial interest, but I have a follow up of more than four years. And there is no glistening, very minimal PCO, not at all, almost. So the lens is in the bag now. The posterior leaf is depressed, some amount of visco comes out. And now, thorough removal of viscoelastic substance is to be done. First, I use this Simco cannula 23 gauss, irrigate some BSS in the entry chamber and behind the intraocular lens. Unless you remove the viscoelastic substance thoroughly, the intraocular pressure will be raised and the patient will not at all feel comfortable. After using the Simco cannula, now you introduce the irrigating probe of bimanual IA, irrigate the anterior chamber, irrigate the anterior chamber angle all around. Go behind the eye will irrigate the capsular bag and remove the viscoelastic substance thoroughly. Now you use the bimanual irrigation aspiration probes together. If you follow these steps, there will be thorough removal of viscoelastic substance and you will have a very clear cornea. Patient will be very comfortable. There will be no rise of intraocular pressure. And now, since the intra, since the anterior chamber was becoming shallow, I have injected a big bubble of air. bit of moxifloxacin has been injected. Now this is hydro suture. Hydrate the stroma on either side of the stab incisions so that these stab wounds close. And now take the 23 gauze Simco and some fresh BSS in the syringe. Irrigate and then aspirate and place it at the wound and form the anterior chamber. And then conclude the case. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Never complete the case without checking the wounds. There should not be any leakage of fluid from the wounds.